Hello friends and welcome to episode 255 of Looking at Stamps and today we conclude our series of women as they are portrayed on U.S. postage stamps and today's episode is dedicated to Asian women who appear on postage stamps and it's going to be a short episode because uh, there are only three which is a personal pet peeve of mine of the underrepresentation of Asian women on US postage stamps. Uh, so the first is Scott number 4924, which is the uh, Joyce Chen stamps. And as you can see here, it's not a single dedicated stamp. It is a series of one of five stamps uh, titled Celebrity Chefs. And her stamp is 2942. Uh, Joyce Chen was a celebrity chef. Uh, she had her own cooking show. Uh, she emigrated from China to to the Boston area and made her claim to fame uh, as a celebrity chef on a public television um, where she had her own show, her own show, Joyce Chan Cooks, um, in the 70s. Uh, she later became to patent her own line of cooking wear, uh, including patenting the uh, flat bottom walk that became so popular uh, to, and is still popular today. Uh, and that was issued in 2014. The next stamp wouldn't be issued until 2020. And this is the Ruth Asawa stamp set. Uh, and the only difficulty here is that she only appears in the salvage of the sheet and the entire sheet is dedicated to her artwork. Um, this was issued once I said, once again in 2020 uh, and this was talked at length in episode 219 of Looking at Stamps. Uh, the third person to be included um, is the Chen Shuang Wu stamp. Uh, this came out this year in 2021, uh, and this was talked about at length in episode 246. And those are the only three that I know. Uh, I hope someone can correct me if I'm wrong, but these are the only three stamps um, associated with a Asian woman uh, dedicated to the stamp. Now, what I am gonna do is I'm gonna zoom back and show you four women who should have their own stamps. Uh, and I have made this recommendation uh, to the Citizens Committee uh, who decides on stamps. And so these were four, my four recommendations. So let me zoom out a little bit uh, so that you can see these a little bit better. Uh, the first that I, I recommended was Grace Lee Boggs. Uh, she was a Chinese American. Uh, she's an author, activist, philosopher, feminist, and civil rights. Uh, activists in the 40s, 50s, and 60s. Um, it, uh, she has died, uh, but she should have her own stamp by now. And it's, uh, all these are travesties in that they don't have their own stamps yet. Um, another one that should be considered um, is Queen Liliua Kalani who was the Queen of Hawaii uh, when it was annexed into the United States. Uh, she was the only Queen of the Kamehameha clan uh, to rule. I should not the clan, the only ruler, a female ruler uh, from the Kamehameha uh, line of royalty. Um, and she should have her own stamp by now. Uh, it's once again a travesty that she doesn't. Um, we also have Patsy Mink, who should have her own stamp by now as well. She's a third generation Japanese American. Uh, she was a lawyer. She was refused the law exam uh, because she was from Hawaii when Hawaii was being annexed. Um, and she sued to get that um, overturned. Eventually she did pass the bar and she was the first woman of color and the first Asian American to be elected to Congress as a representative of the state of Hawaii. And finally, uh, another one that is long overdue. Uh, this is Kalpana Chawla, um, who was an American astronaut. She was the first woman of Indian descent to go into space. Uh, she died in the Columbia Space Shuttle disaster in 1997 when the shuttle disintegrated upon re-entering Earth's atmosphere. 
Uh, so these are four candidates that should already have stamps dedicated to them. Uh, they are all died, so they come within that time frame of stamps issued uh, within a certain period after their death. So there should be no reason why these women shouldn't already have stamps issued. So that is all the time we have for today. I hope you've enjoyed these lessons in history uh, as um, they pertain to women in history. Have a great day. Have a wonderful weekend. And I will talk with you again on Monday. And Monday is the culmination of all this entire series in that it is International Women's Day, March 8th, which was uh, the whole premise of these two weeks of honoring and celebrating women in American history. Have a great day. Have a wonderful weekend. Happy International Women's Day. Bye-bye.